Hello, this is Matthias, and uh, yes, some of you guys have asked me to uh, come out with a video about the Coyote missiles. So now, even though I got them right after they were released, I have to admit I haven't been using them much. Some of this um, footage is actually from one of the first days after they were introduced to the game. So now, just like uh, some other weapons, uh, the air-to-air -air Tomcat lock-on missiles, for example, th this type of weapon is in the game for one purpose only, and that is to help less skilled, less experienced pilots to get into the air-to-air -air gameplay. And uh, whether or not uh, they serve their purpose, that is a, um, an another discussion, of course, but there's no secret why these weapons were introduced in the first place. So now, the way this weapon works is that uh, if you fire them and hit close enough to your opponent, an enemy aircraft that, that opponent has to be, of course, uh, the uh, missiles will lock onto the target and you will hit even if your aim is a little bit off. So now the projectile speed of the Coyote missiles is not nearly as high as uh, any of the primary uh, air to air nose guns and therefore you have to be uh, relatively close to your target in order to reliably hit or to reliably hit close enough for the lock on to actually uh, take effect. Now if you are a uh, high skilled pilot you will deal more damage by hitting uh, with the nose gun if you can land enough shots but for most pilots even though they have a lot of experience flying if your aim isn't all that good you're better off just uh, sticking with the Coyote missiles once you get close enough and one of the reasons for that is because the reload speed of the coyotes is really fast yeah you want the PBA or Albert? what happens if i shoot coyotes on you guys now let's go kill all those <laughs> lightnings and harasses over there Rough <laughs> oh, okay it does explode now one of the things that has been discussed a bit on the forums has been whether or not you can actually dodge these coyote missiles. The problem with this discussion is that dodging, uh, the word dodging is a bit of a loose, a bit of a vague uh, expression and um, there's a lot of different interpretation of what the dodging actually means. I mean, in theory, you could say that if a heavy assault with his rocket launchers tries to hit a uh, moving Sunderer at 50 meters and he misses, then you could in theory say that the uh, driver of that Sunderer was dodging. But uh, most players would agree that that isn't really dodging. That's just a player missing the target. We, we miss our targets all the time. Is it because of dodging? Most likely, most commonly, it's not. But when it comes to dodging, when it comes to dodging in air-to-air -air combat, I have a tutorial about that, and uh, I've posted a link to that video in the description if you want to check that out. Now, a lot of players, especially in the beginning of... Uh, the introduction of these weapons which is what you've seen so far there's been a lot of players that have been experimenting with when and how to use them meaning that uh, a lot of people might have misinterpreted the dodging possibilities against the coyotes saying yeah but i was dodging this uh, coyotes all the time uh, maybe not maybe you were just facing players that haven't really figured these new weapons out yet maybe they were shooting from too far away maybe they were shooting too early maybe they were shooting too late or maybe they haven't figured out the basics of how you need to lead with this weapon Now the most important debate about the coyotes is of course whether or not these uh, are balanced, whether or not they add something positive to the game, whether or not they bring something interesting to the gameplay, the air to air gameplay, do they uh, add more pilots in the air and is it more fun to fly now. And so far I have to say there seems to be a lot of mixed feelings. Um, personally I'm not a big fan of these weapons, I never was and uh, I don't think that is a secret to anyone following my channel. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the latest ch ch changes that as we have made to the air-to-air -air gameplay have only been a negative. Uh, it has made a lot of experienced pilots leave the game, and unfortunately it seems that as we care only about the opinions of non-pilots when they make balance changes to the air gameplay. 
So there are actually some uh, differences between the three ESFs that has affected the air to air balance quite heavily in the past and uh, some of those differences are uh, quite mixed uh, around right now. Now in the past uh, facing a site with uh, for example a river or a mossy the way you see me doing here uh, has massively favored the site however the more the stronger afterburner and the stronger vertical thrust of the reaver makes it now a little bit easier to avoid uh, and dodge if you may uh, coyote missiles uh, and by dodging I mean that uh, you have to get even closer to a reaver in order for any type of dodging to be ineffective so now another uh, factor that plays in very heavily when it comes to so-called noob weapons versus skilled weapons is how much they are used on your server. And yet even another big factor that plays into the debate about these weapons is that there are a lot of very active uh, air haters, active in the debate that is. And uh, whatever pilots uh, would uh, suggest and whatever pilots like to add or remove from the game or buff and nerf, they will of course just suggest the opposite, just because of the f simple fact that they hate air. Uh, anyway, I think that the Coyotes have been in the game long enough now for most players to have uh, a basic understanding of them, a basic, uh, or at least a basic opinion about them, uh, whether or not you like them, whether or not you hate them, or anything in between. Of course, the argument uh, low skilled and the new players need something against better players. That argument is always going to be there. It seems to be one of the constants of uh, any balanced discussion in Planetside 2. Problem is that uh, normally when a new weapon is released, such as the Coyotes, it is the experienced players that have the search and uh, the station cache to get them. Now, whether or not you just buy them for station cache if you're, if you're a new player isn't going to help you all that much in the beginning either because you also need the search in order to upgrade them. And uh, normally we don't see them helping new players at all. At least that's my experience now. If you have a different opinion, by all means share it. But uh, so-called easy mode weapons have normally been mostly used by the battle rank hundreds on whatever server I've been playing on. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now. Really? <laughs> yeah.